In this video, I am going to present you with Instant ID. Instant ID is a new diffusion model based solution that addresses the critical challenge of character consistency in generative AI. This new model is a bit different from the rest of the model which I have shown you. They have also released the whole code and I will drop the link in video's description. Now coming back to this new model, it's a zero shot identity preserving generation technique that only requires a single image. Let me show you a few of the examples. So here, here you can see that with just a single image and without any tuning, they have produced this magnificent result. If you scroll down on this page, there are a lot of other examples which, are, which they have given, all generated from single image. And these examples go on and on just with the single image and you can see the quality of the generated image. So fairly amazing stuff which they have done. Now there are a lot of things which you can do even with LoRa and also the, you can use pre-trained characters with LoRa and they have shown that they can achieve the same results uh, as LoRa without any training which is huge. This method significantly enhances image synthesis, offering high fidelity and style adaptability. It integrates with pre-trained models like ST1.5 and STXL, requiring no extensive fine-tuning or multiple reference images, setting a new benchmark in personal personalized image generation. I have tried out a lot of these image uh, manipulation models and it really becomes pain in the back when you have to use a lot of other models and then download the weight and try to fix you know fix them still i think it's not there at the ideal easy to use place but it's a right step in the right direction in my humble opinion instant id's approach matters because it streamlines the process of identity preserving image generation overcoming previous limitations such as high storage needs and lengthy tuning processes its compatibility with existing pre-trained models and ability to maintain high quality output make it a valuable tool for practical applications in image. They also have a full paper uh, on the hugging face and you can read through it. It's pretty good read I would say. And now let me show you a demo from the hugging face spaces. So you can see that they already have provisioned this. All we need to do is to upload a person image. I will just upload mine. And if you upload multiple person images, they will only detect the biggest face. So make sure that the face is not too small and not uh, blocked or blurred. You can also optionally upload another person's reference pose. I'm not going to use that. And then you can also enter a text prompt as done in normal text to image models. And then we will click submit button to start customizing. And then we can share our customized photo. So that is it is all about we are just customizing our image so let me um, drop my own image here so i have uploaded my own image and i'm not doing this out of vanity i just don't want to use any other person's image to avoid the copyrights let me give it a text prompt saying us maybe i just want to say a st stoic philosopher and then i'll click submit Meanwhile, it happens, as you can see on the right hand side in this Gradio demo on Hugging Face. There are a lot of other things which you can do. For example, you can change um, the spoiler plate and all. Okay, so it keeps going up. So identity strength net for fidelity and then adapter strength and a lot of other things. So, and you can also mention all of these examples. Prompt a man and then negative prompt, which you don't want this model to do okay so let's see it is almost i hopefully done there you go so this is the stoic philosopher for you and you can see how amazing this looks so it is all medieval look and the face is there so very impressive very very impressive i would say and now in another example let me drop an optional image and i will and that is just a uh, Bollywood hero Shah Rukh Khan which I'm going to use as an optional image let me upload the file 
it's just a png file which i got the free image from a public library so okay let me say maybe i'll just say a uh, bollywood you know okay let's see uh, why not okay let's wait for it to generate the image and look at the speed it has just 30 seconds and there are 30 steps so within <laughs> okay. okay so now i'm a bit confused that um, whether it has generated this image from yeah it has generated with this as you can see the head is tilted a bit so what happens if i just remove this does it do it according to this image because maybe th it added that uh, round circle on my forehead which is i think called as the luck uh, so let's see what it does with just this image so i was saying that it might have just added that the luck or the round circle in red on my forehead because of that bollywood prompt so what happens if i remove this and what sort of image it would generate let's see it's almost done now it's a different one but okay so it has still maybe it is still doing the stoic thing at the back end and yeah so you see that the op reference image mouth is slightly open it has done the same i don't know where the beard has come from but we can put it in the optional image so now let me just use one more image here Genghis Khan riding horse let's see what happens through Mongolian plains let's see let's wait so there you go me as Genghis Khan and I think <laughs> but yeah, ignore me but look at the background the Mongolian swords and how great this medieval look is. Look at this, um, uh, you know, headband at the top of the head, which is really, I think, it really depicts those times because that was the norm. And then look at the horses and the army because it has just put in everything into perspective. So very, very intelligent um, model, instant ID, very impressed by it. I will also try to install it locally and then I will see how it goes. Now, really impressive model and uh, there are other highlights too uh, around this model that it facilitates high fidelity, identity preserving image generation using just a single facial image as you just saw. It is superior to existing method because it integrates seamlessly with popular pre-trained text to image models like LCM, LoRa and few others. It also outperforms previous techniques in fidelity and style adaptability requiring no intensive fine tuning which is a real blessing. That's it guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, thoughts, please share them in the comments. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.